Hello, my name is Dan, and this is my channel, Mindful Missionary. In the year 2020, I moved my family from the U.S. to come to the West African country of Sierra Leone. And the purpose for this transition is to teach the gospel. I'm a Bible teacher, and so since that point, I've been doing that. In addition to that primary work, I've also used this platform to be able to share some of our experiences and life lessons that we've learned uh, through our, our time here in, in West Africa. And right now, our family is enjoying a few days little getaway to the capital city of Sierra Leone, which is Freetown, uh, which is about three and a half to four hours away from our home in the inland city of Bo. And we've come here uh, to be able to enjoy ourselves as well as to take advantage of some of the uh, kind of conveniences and resources that are not as accessible in Bo. And so we've been doing just that. Uh, I've kind of put together a little bit of a video montage of some of the activities. And so I'll include that later on in the video. If you just want to skip to that, uh, feel free. I'll include a timestamp in the description below. However, before I share that with you all, I want to give maybe just a little bit of an explanation regarding some of our activities and what really motivates us to take maybe these small little getaways or small excursions to the capital city. So I'm going to list a few of those things that bring us to Freetown in really no particular order, but I'll start with the shopping. Uh, that there are certain things that we have access to in Freetown that we wouldn't in Bow, and one of those things is different shopping centers and supermarkets. And so, uh, in particular, we really enjoy going to some of the grocery stores here, and it's pretty common to be able to find more American or European products that we don't have access to in Bow. And so, it's a treat to be able to enjoy some sweets or some snacks uh, that are kind of nostalgic or that we kind of grew up on and we really enjoy. And even if they're shelf stable, we might be able to kind of take a, a little bit extra and bring it back to Bow so that we can enjoy over the next few weeks. And on a similar note, there are uh, several restaurants that we've discovered in Freetown that we really enjoy. Uh, one in particular is a Chinese restaurant. There is not, to my knowledge, any Chinese restaurant in Bo. There's really uh, much fewer options there. And so if we're kind of burnt out a little bit on our typical week-to-week -week cuisine, uh, being able to make a, a short little visit to Freetown for a few days and get some food that we're not used to having is a real treat for us. And then there are several like recreational activities that we really enjoy uh, whenever we visit Freetown. Uh, one of course being the beach and being able to enjoy the water. Sony just loves that so much and our kids do as well. And so it was a fun activity being able to go to the beach and get wet and uh, be able to uh, just have fun as a family there. And then in addition to that, there are one or two playgrounds that uh, was actually discovered when I was in the hospital in Freetown uh, last year. And uh, so that's always something that we as a family go to and Eden just absolutely adores uh, one of the playgrounds that we frequent pretty much every time that we're here. And then I also should definitely mention that there are higher quality healthcare facilities in Freetown than you can find in most other places around the country. And so um, typically what you'll find in Bo or in some of the other uh, towns around the country is more primary care. Um, but it's more difficult to find specialists of any kind. Uh, however, you can find a lot of those here in Freetown. And so, uh, for example, and this is nothing big, no one panic, you know, but I was having some back and shoulder problems. I, I noticed while reviewing some and editing some of the videos that I produced that uh, this shoulder was higher than this one and it was kind of getting more and more uh, misaligned. And so there's a physical therapist here in Freetown that I visited this past time and was able to do some stretches and he was able to kind of get me worked out a little bit and I'll continue to, to kind of work on that monitor that. But this is an example of something that in Bo, um, uh, mostly just primary care. They're super helpful when you have uh, malaria or typhoid or have some of the more common diseases. But some of these more like specialty type you know, problems, then you're more likely to be able to find that kind of help in Freetown. 
And then lastly, of course, is the airport. So the airport is actually technically not in Freetown. It's across this peninsula in Lungi. Uh, however, uh, it's very common for someone when they touch down in Lungi to take a water taxi here to the, the, the city. And so whenever we receive guests and visitors and, and friends from the U.S., uh, we'll typically stay a night or two in Freetown before making our way back home to Bo. So there certainly are some drawbacks uh, to being in Freetown. I think anyone who lives here or has visited Freetown would agree. It's congested, it's loud, it's chaotic, and some people like that more than others. Me personally, that's one of the reasons I really like Bo. Uh, in comparison, it's more quiet, uh, more laid back. Uh, more relaxed, and so uh, I always will prefer Bo to Freetown. However, for some of the reasons I just stated, uh, Freetown is a wonderful place to visit, and there are always cool things you see and uh, cool things you're able to experience when you're here, and it definitely gives you a different side of the country that I've really enjoyed being able to get to know better. And so without any more delay, here's a quick look into what the past few days have been like while we've been visiting the capital of Sierra Leone.